So in this video, we're going to look at mass volume percent, which is a way of looking at concentrations of solutions. And we're going to look at how to calculate mass volume percent. Okay, so mass volume percent is just another way to look at concentrations of solutions. Okay, not tricky. It's actually, it's actually really easy and very convenient. All right. Uh, and just the, the shorthand way that we do this, because we don't want to write out the actual words, you know us, we're lazy. So you have percent, and then in parentheses you put M slash V, mass per volume, okay? And let's be honest, sometimes you'll see percent MV, because we can't take the time to write out the parentheses. Okay, but in general, all right, mass per volume is super convenient and it's widely used in medical settings which is why it's really important that you understand how to use this, okay? So, the actual equation, okay? The actual equation for mass volume percent is the mass of your solute in grams divided by the volume of your solution in milliliters. And then because it's a percent, you're going to multiply by 100, okay? That's it. Now, it is very important that you actually pay attention to the units of grams and milliliters, okay? So just be careful, okay? They have to be in grams and mils. So they might give you something, like the question might tell you uh, the volume of your solution is two liters. Make sure you convert that to milliliters, okay? You have to be in grams, you have to be in mils. All right, easy. Um, let's look at an example, but you would have a question like this, okay? A solution is prepared by dissolving 10.0 grams of glucose into enough water to make 350 milliliters of solution. Find the mass volume percent, okay? So this, this is literally the easiest possible type of question you could get with mass volume percent, okay? Because you need the mass of your solute, mass of your solute, divided by the volume of your solution times 100. So the mass of your solute, 10.0 grams of glucose, divided by 350 mils of your solution times 100, because it is a percent, okay? And you get 3.08% mass by volume. Exciting, okay? All right, so a potentially harder question would be something like this, okay? If you are actually given the mass volume percent and then you have to find the volume or find the mass, okay? It's still easy. So a saline solution is 0.92% mass by volume of sodium chloride. How many grams of sodium chloride are needed for a 35 milliliter solution, okay? So you just set it up the exact same way, okay? So now you have 0.92% is, right, because I have my mass volume percent, right, so I have this, is the grams of my solute, I don't have it, that's what I'm trying to solve for, okay, so x amount of grams divided by my milliliters, 35.0 mils, and this is the part that everyone forgets, okay, you have to multiply by 100. To get this percent, we multiplied by 100. So don't forget to multiply by 100 here. It's the number one mistake that's made. Okay, you'll just, people will only put x over 35, they'll multiply 35 by 0.92, and they'll have an answer, and they're like, yeah, I'm done. Mm -mm. Okay, so we're here, and now you solve. So basically, you can uh, combined, so you would have 0.92% is 100x divided by 35.0 mils. So you can multiply by 35. You can solve for, you know, the equation any which way you like, depending on how comfortable you are with math, right? And then you would also divide by 100 on both sides, divide by 100 by 100, okay? And then you would get x equals 
the number that I've hopefully solved, yes, 0 0.32 grams of sodium chloride of NaCl, which is salt, right? Just table salt. Okay? So please, please make sure you don't forget this piece right here. Uh, that's pretty much it. Oh, I guess, all right. So if they, they might ask you like a, a, a theoretical type question, all right? So like theoretically, if you had a 25% mass by volume sucrose solution, they might ask you, uh, you know, how many grams of sucrose or how many milliliters of sucrose or what do you do? If they're asking like a theoretical question, what this means 100% of the time is a 25% mass by volume solution, you're going to have 25 grams of your solute for every 100 milliliters of solution. Okay, so if you're kind of stuck or if you're given this and you need to use it in a conversion or something and you don't know how to break it apart, always just put it out of 100. Okay, that, that's the same if I had something like this, 0.92. Okay, if I had a solution that was 0.92% mass by volume, that means that I have 0.92 grams of my solute for every 100 mils of solution. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. Uh, all right, good luck.